Hi YouTube! Okay, today we are going to be testing out a new BB cream and I'm really excited because I've actually never ever tried a BB cream so I wanted to do a review for you guys. Um, I am going to be trying out the new Garnier BB cream and I don't know if you can see that. It is the um, one that is for oily to combo skin. Hopefully that's focusing. Um, the oily combo skin version, it says all day shine control, instant perfection for even uh, tone and oil control. Now, I heard a lot of things about this, and they were all good things that I heard, mostly all good things, and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, they were mostly all good things, and I did know that the other version, the reason why I was scared to try it was keep hearing all these things about BB creams being very very oily and being not good for summer and that kind of stuff so uh, especially for oily skin so I was really really looking as you guys know for an uh, BB cream that would be good for oily skin so I picked this up it was ten dollars with my three dollars off CVS coupon gotta love those coupons so I'm just going to read the claims really quickly and then we're going to open it up and get started. Alright? Alright, so this claims to have broad spectrum 20 and it says it is um, instantly controlling shine, minimizing pores, evens, and hydrates. This is the light medium, forgot to tell you guys that. This is the light medium for me um, and this is oil free. And what it says here on the side is it controls oil and shine, covers the imperfections, um, provides oil free hydration, protects with broad spectrum SPF 20, which I like because I'm going to actually be putting this on and then I'm going to be going for a walk. And it's quite sunny out and so this will really be able to test the staying power of this BB cream and if it really helps the sun, you know, if my face is protected, etc. So, okay. So, let's see here. Um, I pretty much that's all it says um, on here. So, we're going to open up the box now. Alright, so, I'm taking it out and I'm going to apply this with my hands. You can apply this with a beauty blender, with, um, you can apply it with a brush, whatever you choose. I'm going to be doing it with my hands like I normally do. I do have like a beauty blender sponge, but I usually use that for my foundations. Since this is a BB cream, I thought it'd just be nice to try to see how it does with hands. So this is the actual tube right here, and this is how big it is. Um, it is two flowing ounces, so it is a little bit more than normal <clears throat> foundation. Sorry, I have glitter all over myself. I didn't realize. Um, if you like my nails, guys, just let me know. Um, I'm wearing some of my new Ulta polishes. I know I'm not a very good nail painter or whatever, but anyway. Okay, so, um, since I already read reviews about this, I know it's going to be super, super, um, what is it called? Slick. Like, not slick, but super, uh, runny when I open it up. So, let me just, um, open it for you guys. Okay, yeah, it is super runny. So I'm just going to actually put some on my hand, just so you can see the consistency. And, okay, there it is, guys. There it is, right there. See, as you can see, it's like, kind of runny. Um, actually, it's running down the bottle right now, so I'm going to try to put it, put the top on before it gets all over the place. I'm close to the camera, and I have some on the back of my hand. Sorry, let me just put that there. Um, I'm just going to apply this to my skin. I'm feeling sexy and free. Like glitter's raining on me. You like the shot of pure gold. So that is all claims that I love as a person that has struggled with acne in the past. I definitely don't want something that is going to be breaking me out. Alright, so guys, I put this on my skin right now and I'm pretty sure I blended it in. It looks really white on camera, but in person it really isn't it isn't that white okay so let me see actually if I can change the lighting for you that's because I'm really tan right now so okay 
And also, guys, for me personally, if I can bronze my skin up, I don't mind it being a little bit white. It's when it's too dark that annoys me really a lot. So here, I don't know, this is more natural light or, you know, like, I'm just going to move the camera around just like in um, my parents' bedroom. Sorry, it's really dirty. Uh, you know, like, I don't know, like, if it's showing up really white or not, but on um, if I'm looking at myself in the mirror, it really, did I blend it into my neck? Might have not. It really doesn't look that white when I look now. So you cannot really see that with my, um, you can't really see that with this lighting, but this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go for my walk. Um, it's about an hour long actually, and it's really hot outside. I'm going to be testing the SPF, and I'm going to be testing the staying power, and all these claims that this BB cream is saying. And then I'm going to come back, when I come back and film, and um, I'll show you guys, you know, how oily my skin is. I'm not going to be setting this with a powder because I want the true um, color and the true, um, just the true part of the BB cream to be shown. This is all I'm wearing right now. It's just the BB cream. I know I look a little crazy. But this is what we're testing, guys. Is this worth the money? I want to tell you guys, I want to let you guys see for yourselves. All right, so I'll be back after my walk in a little bit, and I'll check in then. Bye, guys. Sorry, guys, I forgot to tell you that when I put this BB cream on, it does not feel oily. It does not feel very, feels very lightweight. And um, also, I forgot to tell you that it um, covers really well. I mean, I don't really have too many like blemishes or whatever, but it covers redness. It really evened out my skin tone. So those claims, it really does a great job on that. And that is a big thing because this BB cream is kind of going beyond the tinted moisturizer. It's giving me coverage. It's evening out my skin tone. It does not feel heavy. And I think this is going to be a great option for summer. I can't wait to show you guys after the walk how it is. But stay tuned for that later. All right? Bye-bye. Hi, guys. Oh, my gosh. I just got back from my walk. And it was kind of a walk slash run because I just decided to mix it up at the end. So I'm sorry I'm out of breath. I'm just like really trying to give you like what it looks like right now. After running, walking, it was probably an hour that I went out there. And basically I just want to show you a close up of the makeup. And I am so like, this is like has sweat on it obviously, but it's not like, super oily even like I thought it would be so like guys this is a win this product is amazing literally if it's able to keep um, oil away for that long like I'm sweating obviously but like the oils are at bay and I just went for a walk it was hot out I live in a sunny climate and so I'm giving this Garnier BB cream formulated for oily and combo skin a thumbs up double thumbs up actually guys double thumbs up because this product actually is probably going to replace my foundation routine I'm probably going to be using this product over the summer um, also stay tuned I also purchased the flower BB cream I don't know if you guys are familiar with the line that line is from Walmart and I picked up their flower BB cream and BB wine which is the lightest shade I'm going to be doing a review on that and I'm not going to take a million years to upload it I promise um, that will probably be done within a few days or the end of the week. All right, so thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this video and this review and go out and try that BB cream, especially if you have oily skin guys. For the summer, get that Garnier oil and combo skin BB cream. And also just you know the disclaimer, I purchased everything with my own money. I'm not paid to say anything and these are my own opinions and I'm so far like stoked with this product, all right? Thanks for watching guys, see you later.